we found the holy grail a binder filled with flyers that our mom picked up at the local grocery store during our childhood in the 1970s and 80s these delightful mary's memos contain recipes menu ideas shopping and cooking tips everything of interest to the modern homemaker according to mary the pastel food splattered copies instantly brought back memories of church potluck dinners and home-cooked meals some are tasty favorites Ooh, these look so good they smell fantastic i think it's going to be perfect and i cannot wait to try it let's give it a go and others leave us well concerned well i am tasting it so we decided to do what any sane middle-aged sisters would do cook them all and let's get started let's do it and we're mixing <laughs> that's right the good the bad and the ugly they are kind of lumpy, bumpy, and an odd color. We want to make every last one, and we want you to join us. I'm Kristen. And I'm Carrie. Welcome to Mom's Wooden Spoon, fixin' food and flickin' fannies. If you have memories of being chased around the house by an angry wooden spoon-wielding mother, or tasting the delights stirred up by that same instrument of doom, then this is the podcast for you. There's some stories there, but she taught me that when you're trying to stir something and get it well stirred in to make figure uh, eight. Yes! We recently read an article that said that nostalgia is a pain reliever and mood booster and figured that we all could use a little bit of both right about now. So come with us to our home kitchens as we try to get the dogs to stop barking and our families to give us a little space while we chat and laugh and get nostalgic. Oh yeah! and follow some OG retro recipes. If you're not sure what OG means, follow us and find out. We're hip and cool. Or not. <laughs> Memories of Tupperware, Jell-O, and Velveeta await.